raining a little bit, but in between raindrops, I am going to shoot a little bit in the backyard. I have 10 or so zombie slayers sitting around, right, that I've been using. Remember Bungie and I put together the zombie slayers last year? Great stuff, great stuff, we love them. And they really treated us well. Had a couple of them, however, that don't hit dead on the way the rest of them do, right? 10 of them are spot on. I refletched them, right? I went through and did all the veins on them. So they aren't the, they aren't the same arrow that I got when I first bought them. I've changed them a little bit, tweaked them a little bit. Uh, did videos on that, go check them out. But the two that are flying a little bit funny, I wanna do some work on, right? I'm not happy with that, not content to have a couple of arrows just sitting around anymore. Back in the day when I first started crossbow hunting, that was good enough for me. But today, I'm gonna shoot those two arrows in between raindrops. I'm gonna get right up there on the 60 yard backyard crossbow balcony. I'm gonna sit up there, shoot down here across the yard onto this target about 50 yards or so. And the yardage doesn't have to be specific, why? Not because I don't care, but because I have the Burris Oracle X scope and it'll tell me exactly what the yardage is and it will give me a dot it perfectly set up for that yardage. So I'm just gonna keep shooting and see where these arrows fly and I'll track them, right? What I'm gonna do, put them in there the way I fletched them with the cock vein down and I will shoot them and I'll write down what happened with each arrow. And then I will walk down here and get them, go back up and then I'll rotate them clockwise or something, right? We'll get a little rhythm going and I'll make note of which way I shot it. And then I will re-fletch them according to which way they shoot the best. It's knock tuning, right? It's nothing fancy. That, that, that's all this is. All right, looking out over the 60 yard backyard here, I got two arrows selected. These are the zombie slayers I have trouble with. Most of them fly perfect, right? These are the heavier Excalibur variety available from Wyburn Creations. I did videos on this stuff last year during Crossbow Appreciation Month. So maybe you watched them, maybe you didn't. But either way, air conditioning is going to join us for this apparently. It is what it is. So I fletched them with two greens and a and a orange, or two oranges and a green. I just I mixed them up, mixed and matched. But I did that so that I could have a cock vein down, so I shoot them the same way every time. The Excalibur crossbows have a flat knock. If you don't fletch them different, you don't know which way you're putting them up and down and all that. I just refletched them all with a cock vein, but. Um, I made it so that the Zombie Slayer logo was pointing up at me where I could read it. <laughs> just because that's the way I do things. But that's that's just me. Out of the ones that I got left, they all fly great except for these two. So, you know, these two, the spine is just too not aligned with these fletchings, these veins, to make them shoot straight. It doesn't like this, right? We're going to shoot it and we're going to measure it and take notes of it anyway with this. And then I'm going to shoot it this way, right? with that orange one up, up and put a green one down and I'll take note of what happens there and then I'll rotate it this way and see what happens and then we'll find out which of the three it likes the most and then we'll just cut these off put new ones on and line it up where this one was I'll make a little mark on the shaft so I know where to put that new cock vein. and that should allow these two arrows to shoot perfectly if I am correct that's just not tuning right so we'll do that we'll shoot a little bit see how how the uh, 60 yard backyard likes it you might be wondering, why am I shooting at this distance? Why am I shooting 50 yards? Rich, that's so far. It is. It just seems like it's so far away. But at 20 yards, you don't see the difference as much. That's the problem. The crossbow is sighted in. Old Bungie here is sighted in well. So I'm not concerned about missing the target or anything like that. But at 50 yards, you're really going to see the deviation in the shots. It really shows up when you do it at like 50 yards or something like that, 40 yards, whatever. If you do it at 20 yards, I can kill deer with these just fine at 20 yards. I could go out today and shoot and shoot something at 20 yards. This wouldn't make any difference at all. But in the 60 yard backyard, I want accuracy, pinpoint accuracy, if possible, out to 60 yards. And I'm getting that pretty much with these other arrows, especially when I shoot off of the bog death grip, right? That bog death grip holds bungee perfect. It really likes that crossbow. So uh, you can check out deathbybungee.com. The gear page on there tells you what I use, what I don't use, what I like, what I don't like. That stuff's on there with links to Amazon, all that good stuff. So you can go check out those affiliate links if you want. It's up to you. Um, but I do like the Bog Death Rip for that crossbow. It doesn't work so well with the Scorpid because the Scorpid has that contoured grip on the foregrip there. It's a contoured. It's very comfortable, but it doesn't like that. It likes a Caldwell Deadshot Field Pod, right? Which I have another one. I'll do a video on that. That's pretty cool. So when we get the Scorpid going here, I got to get a bunch of And his arrow's all lined up first because that, that one's real easy to fix. 260 feet per second these days with these heavier 563 grain arrow rigs. So, Bungie 
does not have a problem maintaining perfect accuracy. We work out these little wrinkles and we'll be good to go. Then we'll get the scorpion out. Bungie 3.0, we'll get that one out. And we'll do some videos on that. Pretty cool, huh? All right, we're gonna grab arrow number one, huh? Yeah, of course. Arrow number one, start with one. I got one and five. Isn't that weird? The first arrow that I flashed is one of the duds. So we're gonna put that up here. Got it over here, all I'm gonna do, screw it on here. Take it around, put that orange guy down, drop it down there, slide it back. So it butts up against the claws there, butts up against the string all nice and comfy. We're gonna turn you around like this so you can take a look down at the 60 yard backyard and see what you got going on. That is a nice, yeah, that's very nice, very nice. Whoa, look at that. We're gonna zoom right in though. Not nice enough if you ask me, but it looks pixely. Doesn't that look pixely? But we're gonna shoot down there and see what we got. I got This phone does a pretty good job. Hopefully that'll hold on there for you. And let you see what we got going on. Fire in the hole. I'm gonna get in my little spot here. See if I can fit in here good. And see what we got. And that looks low and left. While I am doing this, you can listen to the soothing sounds of the air conditioner. How's that? I'm going to put the rope cock around the bungeonator here and cock that bad boy. Listen, I'm not even out of breath after cocking a 175-pound draw weight crossbow by hand. I'm loading arrow number five. Listen to this. That's the sound of an arrow going right in the bungeonator here. The OB. Drop it in. Got my handy dandy crossbow journal to write all this stuff down. Gonna walk down here. What I hate about these little jobs is all the walking. You know, there's all this walking. I had to put boots on so I could go do this, you know, because of the grass. I just mowed all this grass. I push mow all of this. Can you believe that? I'm not kidding. What great exercise. But anyway, so we'll walk down, see what we got. And gotta love those Burt Coyote Luminox. I'm telling you. That person looks like a dud. Maybe that. Another reason to shoot all the arrows. I like to rotate all the arrows because I get to tell who needs batteries, who doesn't. And maybe that one on the left needs a battery. But anyway, oh, they both look low, but wow. Well, we're going to record it. We're not making any decisions based on what we're seeing. I was aiming, just for the record, just for the record. I was aiming right here. We end up here. I was aiming right here. We end up here. And those need a little bit of love, don't they? We're just going to see who it likes best. I'm going to keep aiming at those dots. I'm going to shoot them a different way, and we'll see what we come up with. The air conditioner is still going. I hope you appreciate all the hard work I do for you outdoors when my family's inside enjoying the air conditioning. So this was arrow number five, right? I'm going to shoot vein six and vein seven down, right? And that's, that's just what I did. You can number them any way you want, but arrow number one now has a two and a three. I would never number them this way if I was going to put them back into rotation because now I don't know if this is arrow number one, two, or three, you know, whatever. I, I number all the arrows that I have available of that style, one through 12 or whatever. And that allows me to tell the one arrow from another. And then what I'll do, you could just put little hatch marks on here or whatever you want to do, but this, this will work for my purposes because at the end of this, now at least for sure, these veins are coming off and new ones are going on. I put these on, so it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, and it could be a problem with the veins I put on or something like that. I don't know. That looks pretty fancy. You know, those are pretty good-looking veins, if you ask me. I think that looks pretty sweet. They don't like to focus, but they're still pretty good-looking veins. Let's get back to shooting. You know, one thing I have noticed about this phone, this camera on this phone, if I go from 1 and zoom into 10, it's all pixelated like that last shot. If I just start at 10, look how smooth that is. That's a beautiful shot. Zoomed in 10x. Like, that's a pretty good image, right? And focus and everything. Let's see what uh, Bungie and the Zombie Slayers think of that, huh? And my rope cocker somehow got tied into a knot. That's not good. Get it? Not good. Two down. Again, playing around with the scope. Two, 45 yards, upper left dot. That one is just straight down. And I think last time it was down into the left. We're going to find out if six likes it. 
put the six down. Put the six in the axiom here. Six in the death grip. Six upper right dot. Man, that's the burst. I do love that. And on an older, slower crossbow, it is totally valuable. It is the most wonderful piece of equipment on a crossbow like this because it only shoots 260 feet per second now. And the arc is a lot more because the arrows are so slow. And that scope gives me exact yardage. If you're shooting a 26, it gives you a, a reticle for 26. Nothing more, nothing, nothing less. That's that uh, leftover gotta grip. And there's a nice fortune cookie that my daughter put on here for me. Truer words have never been spoken. <laughs> you aren't going to watch the arrow fly on this one. You have to take my word for it when we go for a walk. But this is arrow one, which now has one, two, three. So I'm going to put three down, which will be that green one. So I have the cocked bungee. Mm -hmm. And I slip right in here. Oh, look at that. You're, you can see me and everything. Slip right in here. And, uh, tighten this up. And if I was real picky, I'd put a level on here, okay? Put a level on here, make sure the crossbow's level. But I do have a level here to make sure on the Bach death grip, to make sure that the tripod is level. And for the most part, at 45 yards, it doesn't seem to make that much difference. There's also a built-in level in the Burris, which is telling me it's level. One, two, three, we're gonna put three down, okay? So this will be our last shot with this arrow. Put him up there. We're gonna ease the safety up. Ooh. And then, we're going to go over here, and I'm going to aim at that, we're still at 45 yards, and I'm going to aim at the upper right dot. Now, what I did, just so you know, turn on the scope with this little button here, Burris, right? It's got a range finder built in. I push this little Bluetooth jobby right here, which I'm not going to put my fingers in here to show you, but I'll go under to show you, right? And this little button, you hear this? Over the air conditioner? That's range find. So you got to re-range find, put it right on there, boom. And 45 yards, it gives me a red dot. As soon as you push it, it gives you a red dot. Ready? So what I'll do is I'm going to aim somewhere else just to give you an idea. When I click it, I'll tell you how fast I have it, how fast it gives me a dot. You ready? And click. 80. 80 yards. So it's instantaneous. It really is. It's, it's faster than I can read it and say it. So don't worry about that. But we got to go back to 45. It's fun to do, too. When I shot at my doe on state game lands with this thing, she's coming in. I'm looking at her through the scope with a different crossbow, we're Bungie 3.0. And I, the whole time she's walking toward me, I'm click, 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 playing around with it. Just love it, love it. So let's see what we can do here. We're gonna get down on it. Here we go. You don't wanna look at lilacs, do you? No. You wanna see the results of my fabulous shooting, Bungie's fabulous shooting. You might be wondering why I'm all dressed up, right? Look at these fancy shorts I got on and everything. All dressed, not not the boots, not the boots so much. But you might be wondering why I'm all dressed up, but it's because I went to a rally, right? A political rally today with hundreds of people. And so I, and I had my button on, right? My Rich Wilson running for district attorney button. And some of you know about that, right? I did a video on that and mentioned that in the video. And so that's a, another part of my job now, another part of my life. In addition to the, these videos, which are going to continue because I love this stuff. I really do. And I'm an avid hunter and that's just the way it is, right? And voters in my county, I am blessed to live in a place that really appreciates that. Not just gives lip service to it, but really legitimately appreciates the outdoors and what our hunting heritage means to us. So these videos will continue. And I can tell you, though, that I was at this rally, and it's going to be part of my life. I have to go to these political events and all that stuff, in addition to my day job, which is being a lawyer and doing lawyering stuff and wrapping up all my cases so that I can take office next year. So I'm doing all this stuff, but I was at this rally, and we actually had a phone call at the rally 
from the 45th president of the United States. Can you believe that? I tell you what, Bradford County's been uh, right from the beginning and just about my best place in Pennsylvania. I thought that was pretty cool. I was just sitting here. I was having lunch with my wife and we're just having lunch and enjoying it. We got done talking to people. We're getting ready to go talk to some more people sitting next to somebody I met on the campaign trail. Our congressman was there. It was just a great, great time. So I'm not going to mention an awful lot of that stuff on the channel, but I just... Some of you are interested in that stuff and want to know more about it, so there you go. But let's go back in here and look at the results of this thing, huh? I threw away my good veins. In business. There you go. There's one. Right, right on the money. On this one, I missed a little bit. <laughs> All right, the new guys, this is the lucky number seven, right? Our control arrow, so to speak. Number one, the new number one, new number five. And we're back to 45 yards or thereabouts. And it's getting close to the end of the day. But what a beautiful sunset we're going to have. You can hear the air conditioner. You can hear a little bit of traffic in the distance. The birds are chirping, getting ready to go to bed, and I'm going to shoot three arrows. We're going to shoot number seven, then number one, then number five, and see if they match up. We're going to go to the left, second left dot, left squares, second one down. Okay. How's that, huh? Bungie deserves to be in the picture, don't you think? What a great crossbow. They don't make them like they used to, huh? Anyway, those three arrows behaved identically. A control arrow, which shot the same as all the other arrows I got. And then these two oddballs, refletching them, boom, knock to them, boom. Look at them, shooting the same as that one. They look pretty good to me. That looks like it's within the so-called margin of error right like any deviation on these three could be rich wilson <laughs> could just be me but anyway so we do have one that's a little bit high and those two you know but this is not a bad group so to speak at 45 yards um i will hone these down and if they're still giving me fits we'll see what happens but one for the record pretty much hit the dot that it was aiming at five for the record pretty much hit the dot that it was aiming at right that's a half inch square on there and it's touching the outside of it so that's pretty good pretty happy with those luminox look well lit so on this beautiful evening it's time to say sayonara or in other words all hail bungee, bungee. <laughs>